what would I look for if I was looking for an injector for my myself? And trust me, actually, I do have my own injector and I've actually thought about this because I don't self inject and I do like to go to somebody who's going to treat me and I get some TLC myself. The number one thing I would look for if I was trying to find my own injector is to look at their before and after photographs. It's so surprising to me how many people don't have before and after photographs. They only have stories about themselves, a lot of stories about themselves, or they have stories about how they would inject somebody uh, or placement or um, really obscure things, but they really don't have a lot of before and afters on their portfolios. And I think it's really relevant because we can all say we're great, but it's really important to show the work that you're doing. Um, the second thing that I would look for is their reviews. I would look to see what the community is saying about them, overall uh, getting a vibe for their overall performance and kind of carability to the overall general public. I think that's really important to know whether the public likes them and endorses um, their treatments. And the last thing I would look for is feedback about their staff because the staff, which we know, Leslie and Maddie are amazing here, they can really make or break your experience also. So if you walk in and their staff is not friendly or you call and you just don't have that good feeling, I think it's really relevant to make sure that you're connecting with a, a practice where not only your provider is great, but their support team is also great. And I think we have I think we have all three of those here and that makes me really happy. So um, those are the important things to me. And um, if you have any questions, I'm always available. So just email me your direct questions. I'm happy to entertain anything or any thoughts that you have and or any feedback that you might have to make us a better practice.